Hi everybody, thank you for joining me for what might be the most reflective video I've ever done in more ways than one, as you will find out. This is the John Lennon Mind Games Meditation Mixers 3LP vinyl set that's coming out on the 11th of October. I'm going to tell you what's in here. What is this? What isn't this? Just as importantly. Uh, and also I'm going to tell you something very, in something very interesting about disc 3, which has something I've never seen on vinyl before. All very interesting. I would like to thank the John Lennon camp as always for sending me this. Uh, I'm always grateful and never presumptive about these things. But it was very uh, nice yesterday when this envelope arrived with that sticker on the front. Uh, on the back there is a QR code there that takes you to the Citizen of Newtopia website. If you've been following the Mind Games releases over the last few months you'll know what that's all about. So, this here. Let's just get you... This is the shrink wrap and this is the label that's on the shrink, lap, shrink wrap. John Lennon Mind Games, the Meditation Mixers Limited Edition Ultra Clear Triple Vinyl, uh, previously av available only on Luminate. So what's Luminate, if you don't know? Luminate is an app that you can get on your phone and that, it's, been, it's been available for a few months now as the Mind Games section of this. Uh, you can download this app onto your phone and it gives you... Well, basically, meditation mixes of the song Mind Games. These are new remixes that have been done. Not the remixes that are in the set that was released in the deluxe and super deluxe box sets. But these are stretched, altered, completely changed. They are a trippy vibe. And on the Luminate app, it combines with lights that your phone emits via its torch to produce a very intense experience for you to chill out to, relax, meditate to if that's your thing. And these are now coming onto vinyl and streaming and download. I'll, I'll give you information about that as well. So this is not intended to be a, a release like, for example, the Ultimate Mixers, which are intended for, you know, if you're a John Lennon fan, here's the big new thing to come and get. This is more for if this is your bag. If you are into the idea of, music to help you relax, music to maybe even go that next level and meditate to. That's what this is about. This is not your regular John Lennon album. So on here we've got nine tracks, which I, I hope you can see this. It's so shiny and reflective that it's going to be interesting to see whether you can see this. But there are nine tracks there split over the first two discs and the first side of the third disc, which are all remixes of the Mind Games song. So not other songs from Mind Games, just the song Mind Games itself. They combine different certain frequencies that are known studies prove that they help you to relax in certain ways. So some of these tracks are described as being binaural, which was a new phrase to me. I've had to I've had to look it up and read about that on here. It's got things like gamma waves, beta waves, alpha waves, theta waves which all are designed to stimulate and relax the brain. Um, that's a bit of an oxymoron there, isn't it? In different ways. But let's just have a look at this. This is disc one. This is, they all come in polyline sleeves. And disc one, uh, I think, is meant to represent what a gamma ray might look like. But this, you know, I've seen clear vinyl before. This is clear vinyl. Look at that. That is clear. There's a very interesting effect when you play these vinyl records, which I which I have played, and I think this was unintended. I don't think you could have planned this, but it's quite a cool effect. I think because it's so clear, and the grooves from both sides can be seen, when the record spins, it gives this really weird look of sort of going really fast, and then slow, and then speeding up again and going backwards. And I think it's just the way that the grooves are sort of clashing with each other visually, because you can see both sides of it. Like I say, probably unintended, but a very cool effect that had my head spinning for a little while when I first played it. Uh, so that's this one, which has got um, tracks called Mind, Magic, Space, and Seed. The track Space that's on side B of this is the one that it, the uh, Lennon camp are gonna lead with as their sort of release day track, so no doubt that's what they're going to be promoting on social media. So watch out for that on the 11th of October. Uh, disc 2 has got uh, tracks called Spirit, Love and Surrender. Now Surrender actually takes up the whole of side B, 23 minutes. 
So this is one I would say from my experience with this and certain similar things to this, it's great at night, switch your lights off to be in a dark room and play this and you can just just zone out and just really relax. The um, Some of the messages that I've had from the, the team at the Lennon camp have said they don't intend this to be in any way something that you would play start to finish three discs. But tracks in isolation are really, really relaxing. So this I think this needs to be approached from a, with a different mindset, a mind game set. To, to regular albums. This is not what you'd call a regular album. Again, disc two, really clear vinyl, and it has that same funky effect that I think is unintended, where the, the sort of two sides of grooves clash, clash with each other, and you get this really weird effect that, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna show you this triple gatefold. I'll get this all opened up and show you this as well in a moment. Uh, in fact, let's do that now before I forget, and I'll come on to disc three, which is, um, unique uh, amongst my, my record collection. So there's a good look at the front cover. Uh, as you can see, um, fingerprints. I'm hoping that a dry cloth will uh, do something to those fingerprints, but it's a very glossy cover uh, and it does attract the, pr the prints. So uh, hopefully you can see the side spine there. On the back you see John walking away from you. Again, it does collect the fingerprints, quite interesting there. And it's, like I said, it's a double gatefold. So it opens up once, to show that track listing that I showed you before. I'll read you some of this blurb in a moment that's on there. It's quite interesting what they've done. Uh, and then it opens up again. Okay, so you've got a disc in each of these three sections. And then you've got a bit more information about each of the, the tracks there. So, um, as this says in here, the John Lennon Mind Games Meditation Mixers are designed to put the listener in a relaxed and completative state, com contemplative state using various sound design techniques and processes applied to the original two inch multi-track recordings complemented with an additional instrumentation from Sean Ono Lennon. The mixers create their own space while maintaining firm authentic roots in John's original recording of the original song. The binaural versions of the meditation mixers contain a binaural beat an auditory illusion created within the brain when the left and right ears hear two slightly different frequencies whose difference is perceived as a new frequency which can activate different brain patterns for scientifically proven therapeutic effects. These are called gamma, theta, beta and delta, um, as I've mentioned before. So really interesting stuff there um, that, that is is only going to appeal to a limited audience. Let's not beat about the bush here. This isn't going to be something that everybody is going to be interested in. If you're not interested in it, don't worry about it. Um, move along, listen to something you are interested in. Uh, this is the third disc, and you can see that it's got different types of waves on this polyline sleeve. Uh, also worth pointing out, actually, while we're on that subject, that this is made in Germany at Optimal Records, which I know for many people is a, a good sign of quality. So, disc three. I wondered what was going on here at first when I played this. So the, um, the first side is a track called, let me just double check. Uh, the first side is a track called Peace, which is nearly 24 minutes long. Okay, so it's really stretched out. The nearest thing I can think of to describe it is if you imagine on the Beatles Love album, the track Gnicknus, Sun King backwards, obviously. The way that starts, it's so gentle and sort of stretched out and, and, and calming. It's that kind of thing, if you think about the sort of early part of that track, Gnicknus. But anyway, that's on side A. On side B, let's just get you a look at these grooves. You can see there. Now, normally, when you look at grooves like that, you would think that that's about sort of um, nine tracks with um, a, a, a short gap in between. It is nine tracks, but each one is on a loop. Now, if you think of playing, for example, Sgt. Pepper on vinyl, where you've got the infinite run out groove at the end, um, it's like there's nine of those on here. So. They are each sort of short mantras as they're described, you know. So again, it's in that, that phase of meditation, calming down. Uh, there's nine of these and each lasts several seconds and it just loops continuously. So you could put the first one on, which is called, uh, let me just 
let's check the first one is quite a sort of a funky bass beat almost a little bit like reggae the first one well it's just called mantra one and they're called mantras one through to mantra nine it's almost like a sort of a dub reggae beat that loops over several seconds and it will just keep looping and it'll keep going forever what you then do is what looks like the actual track on here is actually just a space you put your needle onto that space and it immediately goes forward to mantra 2 which is much more sort of trippy and vibey uh, i don't think there's any lyrics on mantra 2 well it certainly isn't on either of the first two mantras um, it's just much more sort of gentle vibe but again it just loops on forever so you could pick which of the nine mantras you want put your groove to that and it will just play it continuously i've never seen that on vinyl before it's really interesting uh, so Alex Wharton at Abbey Road Studios, who was the mastering engineer for that, has done a real cool job of, of creating um, a piece of vinyl that does something um, pretty unique. So this is, like I said, this is going to be available on vinyl through the John Lennon website. It is available, it's going to be available through streaming. So wherever you normally stream music from, the track Yes that's on here is available already for streaming. So if you want to go and have a look at Spotify or Amazon Music, whatever, you'll see that that's there now. It'll give you a kind of a vibe of what kind of things are on here. You can also get it as a download from Cobus um, and probably other download sites as well. Cobus is the one I know. That's Q-O-B-U-Z. Worth bearing in mind that both for streaming and downloads, it doesn't include the mantras. Uh, it's got the, the nine tracks that are over the first two discs and the first side of the third disc. So I'm, I'm going to rip the mantras. Uh, I'm going to do a vinyl needle drop, get that into my digital library so that I can... I'll probably do sort of 10 minute um, sections of each one of those. So that I've got those. I just like to have this stuff digitally as well. Um, so that's what that's where you can get this from also in the package that i got i was really pleased to say i don't know whether this is going to be included without all the vinyl or whether it's just those um of us that were lucky to have this sent but there's a postcard there john lennon mind games postcard um and there's another postcard there which uh if you want to have a read of that you'll see this is a nice message from sean ono lennon um all about the uh the mind games experience that we've been having over this last year so it's very interesting i had already pre-ordered the digital version on cobus and um, i was going to get that regardless um, and then i was i found out that um i was going to be receiving this which i was really grateful for um it is it is quite expensive i think it's around about 80 pounds i don't know whether i would have bought it on vinyl personally because i knew that i was going to have the digital tracks um, but it is a re now that I've seen it, it is a really cool piece of vinyl. The, uh, the the clear vinyl, and especially that third disc that doesn't come with the download and the streaming. That's got those nine separate mantras on. That are I had some fun last night with this. Just like I said, turning my light off in the room, darkened room, and just letting that go. And I've never really done meditation before. I don't really know how to do it. But if I ever found myself in a a time where I just want to relax, great, I can do that with this. If I want to get into that meditation side of things, who knows, I might do one day, then those mantras are going to be really great for that. Uh, so, yeah, interesting. Not for everyone. Don't worry if it's not for you. I, I think the days of people trying to be completists, I'm certainly not a completist by any stretch of the imagination. And I think it's... Uh, it's a difficult task because there's just so much out there and you can get caught up in silly games if you try and be a completist. But if this is of interest to you, brilliant, go for it. I think you'll have some fun with this. If not, don't worry about it. It's not for you. That's fine. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. We are now just, as I record this, a few days away from... I don't know whether it's going to be the final announcement, but we know there's still something Mind Games related going to be announced on John's birthday, 9th of October. I have no idea what it is, um, but I'm looking forward to finding out. We'll see whether it, how interesting it is, um, how special it is, or, or not. Uh, uh, but we'll be back with that news on the 9th of October. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know your comments down below, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.